Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and I do refashion projects of old or new clothing. I also have lots and lots of sewing techniques on my channel so all you need to do is hit that search button and put in the information that you're looking for. I also start a new series which is what I wear in a week which I am totally enjoying. I also do sew and tell which is where I talk about different topics in the fashion and sewing industry and subjects around that particular area. And I don't think I've missed anything else out, am I? And oh, sewing lookbooks. I also do sewing lookbooks where I design, pattern draft and make my garments. And if you're interested in anything like that, consider subscribing and let's get started. So I'm doing a refashioning project where I'm doing a jumpsuit and in order to do the jumpsuit I'm going to need some clothing. So I've got these pair of pants, these green denim. I've actually done a tutorial on these denim pants where it is um, how to make the legs of the pants uh, slimmer. So um, I'll put a link to that description, that video I should say, in the link below and it comes with this denim jacket. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so I want to make a jumpsuit. I haven't made myself a jumpsuit of denim in such a long time. Um, and when I did make one, I did that from scratch. But um, to refashion is going to be just as exciting. So yeah, it's going to be become one. So I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. So this is what this is what it looks like on. As you can see, it's not very interesting. Side view and a back view. So like I said, I want to make a jumpsuit, so I want to make this all in one. The waist is pretty high and it's super stretchy, so very comfortable to wear. So as I'm combining them both, I really do need to think about the comfortability of the pants, which I'm totally happy with, and happy with the length. I'm, ha I'm actually happy with the fact that it's quite high-waisted. If it wasn't, um, there may be a bit of an issue because of the hardware that's on here. Now, if you're gonna do the same sort of thing, you need to probably think about hardware. I mean, I've got them on the belt loops as well, as a front here, and you know, we are talking about denim details you know jeans i should say jeans details so we need to i'm not going to cut them off and i don't have the tools to remove them either so they're not going to be removed so the pants i'm going to be happy with making no alterations i don't need to make any so yeah i'm happy with the way that it looks and you can see from the back as well so it's sitting at the right place so it's the jacket that I'm going to have to focus on. So the jacket has some seam detailing on there and I want to try and match that up with what's on the jeans. So I'm going to have to take, well I know I'm going to cut it to roughly about here. So I'm going to have to think about this button here because yeah it's, it's going to cause, may cause an issue. So we're going to work around that. I'll show you how I work around that idea. So let's see if I just fold the jacket under like so. A symmetrical thing may be happening here as well. So that's what I want to happen. I'm going to have to, uh, the biggest problem is going to be here, it's going to be this button here, this button and matching this into here and this here may not be too much of a problem, that wouldn't be a problem, mm, this I could be a bit of a problem. 
Ah, oh. because we're going to get an overlap like that, aren't we? So it closes. That's starting to look nice already. So let's see how we're going to problem solve this so that everything goes the way I want it to go. Yeah, that's fine. So the jeans are fine and I'm going to tuck the denim jacket into the waistband. I'm going and I'm keeping the waistband as I said before because of the rivets that are in there. And it could be an option that I could actually just up at the top. Let me see. No, because it's not a two-piece waistband. No, I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna go there. No, it's not even a two-piece waistband. Because when it's a two-piece waistband, you can have a seam at the top here, and there isn't one. So it's going to be a case of me kind of doing that sort of thing. And so the waistband becomes a little bit of a feature within the jacket or I may just have it kind of like hanging over like that so it's a, a blues on effect so it hides the waistband that's a choice I've got to make yeah my cat's in the way uh, and it, there's, there's some elastication in the actual pants at the back, which is a good thing, and you can't really see it once you've got it on, so yeah. So that's the thing you need to think of. So let's re recap. The jeans are fine, they are high waisted, and that's okay. Um, let me just put this here, and I'm happy with that. Um, I'm not going to remove the waistband, and the main reason is because of the rivets that are, that are here because it means you know, lowering it, cutting it into the zip part, and I do want the belt, the waistband, to be part of the look of this jumpsuit, but it's whether or not I put it on show, like that, or I, can, I create a blues on effect, like that, like this, that may work. I've tucked the jacket into the pants and I'm looking at proportions. It is actually sitting on my natural waist, these pants. Yeah. So I just turn to the side and the back. And it's it's not bad, it's it's not a bad look. It's not kind of like I'm looking for, I'm not hundred percent sold on the waistband because it, it's cutting me in half so you know it's also quite short and long legs so I've got this option where I can cut it so that it fits this way and um, and I'm giving I'm giving you some ideas as well so in case you've got a similar body shape to me where you've got a tall tall long legs and short torso so and the balance is not bad. Aesthetically, it's okay, and I could wear a belt with it. But I, I just think there's too much going on for me. But I suppose if it was a bit more, if it was like down here. So this is for someone who's got, you know, better proportions, you know, to their torso and to their legs. This look would probably be a good option to go for. Now you've got a good portion there and also with your legs. Now if you are the opposite way around where your torso is you know really long and your legs are really short then this is probably a good option to go for but you can always create the illusion of making sure to create balance if that's what you're looking for and make sure that it's you know you pull the pants up close a bit 
So you're creating that balance with your torso. So that's three options. So you either are short torso, long legs, you either well proportioned torso to your legs, or you've got a longer torso and short legs. And if you, that's the option, if that's the case, then maybe just kind of reinventing where your waistline is in order to create that proportion that you're looking for. So yeah, mine is going to be at my natural waist, which is here, because it feels comfortable being there. And I couldn't put it pull it down if I wanted to because the crotch the crotch will be down there. And we don't we don't want that. So yeah, tucked in. Now I just think there's a little bit too much going on. So I'm just gonna prise out just a little bit and just kind of bag it out or create a kind of like a blues on it a bit, which just means bagging it out. See, if I back it out, I just lose some of the detail of the pants. So I've got to pull that out the back. And that's not bad. It's, 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 it's almost giving the illusion as though it's all in one. Can you see it's going straight down? The eye is drawing it all the way down. As before, you know, your eye would stop there and then you'll see that section then continue down. But this is going to give the illusion that I'm taller. Probably not a good, bad thing. Um, but it's all about how I feel comfortable. Yeah, so there's two options. Well, the only two options, really. Oh, no, there could be a third, where I could have it like this at the front. And then, you know, creating the kind of like bagging out at the back. So three options. But no, I'm not, I'm not sold on that one. So yeah, I think I'm going to pull it out and then yeah, that's that's the option I'm gonna go for. Yeah, I'm happy with how that looks and maybe you know if it was the case where my je the jeans were sitting on my natural waistline it was a bit further down I may have just made sure that I was showing the waistband but no I like this yeah I think I think, I think this is the option I'm going to go for this is a three-part series the refashioning for a jumpsuit so if you are interested in that sort of thing, please keep watching for the other two episodes. If you're new to your channel, consider subscribing because there's lots of information on my channel. I'm sure that will be of interest to you. If you do like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and please do share. And I will see you in the next episode.